Young Squires. Oh, what y'all thought I couldn't dress? What's happening, baby? What's happening, baby? Listen, with the real bow tie. What's happening, baby? What you doing? What you doing? Look at your boy. Look at your boy. Looking cooler than the other side of the pillow, baby. All right, so, oh, let me pull up my seat here. Because I got a real special one for you guys and girls that's today. And that is the story, the origins behind Jay Johnson. Now, we just did a story on Jay Johnson not too long ago. And y'all basically uh, was pretty much ingratiated with, you know, who Jay Johnson was. And the unfortunate mix-up that happened that one Thanksgiving with her cousin. Okay? But I never did give you, like... The whole backstory of why I guess Jay Johnson was so special to me. Especially in a relationship where something like that happened. At. Here's why. Hold on one second. Cause see, I want to give y'all real. Real deal. And I don't want no background noise in my video. I'm just got to go. In a little bit. I, I have not done my cufflinks yet, so y'all have to excuse me. Excuse the. But I got the cufflinks, y'all. Got the cufflinks right here. Okay. So, Jay Johnson, everybody. So, how it all started, it actually started at my homegirl's niece house. Thank you. So, we at Nisi House, chilling out, you know what I'm saying, doing our splendor. And now, let me explain something about Nisi House. Nisi, Nisi's house was a place where, and Nisi is short for Shawnee's, that's her name. Shawnee's house is a place where, you know, her parents, they worked two jobs, you know what I mean? And her and her sister, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they basically just, like, they raised themselves, to be honest. And that's just how it was. So, me and the homies, we used to just go over there to, you know, they had, like, a little pool table down down in their lower garage and everything. Well, the lower part of the house, because they had, like, a split level. And, like, they had, like, an extra den and everything else. And that was just, like, the chill spot. Like, that was our spot. Like, think Belly. Right? When he was, when Nas was talking about, you know, Mark's uh, grandmother's basement and, you know, all people from New York, basement activity vibes. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we there and we down there, you know, we having a good time, everything else. And all of a sudden, she just busts out. She was like, Are you happy? Which was like weird because at this time I was kind of still like, because you know, me and Charmaine wasn't working out. So I was kind of like a little, you know, down in dumps about that. But as far as me and Charmaine being over and me wanting to move on and everything, I was cool with it. My biggest thing at that time was I don't like starting over. Still to this day, like, I hate starting over because I really desire and I'm really a person that likes those lasting, long-lasting relationships. So when I have to start over with somebody new, it's like, dang, now I got to flush the toilet on all this progression that we've made. And, you know, this is also why I fight so hard to work it out. Case in point. But she told me, she was like, yeah. She's like, um... I'm having this conversation with her and everything, and I told her, I was like, yeah, I'm pretty much happy, and I told her, like I just told you, what the business was, because I didn't think, you know, me and Charmaine would ever get back together, just being, you know, factual. Oh, and by the way, everybody, at this time, I'm like, about 16, about 16, 17, somewhere in that age bracket, okay? Uh... 16 when we had this conversation 
Some time goes by. One day, uh, me, Pietro, KP, we decide we're going to go to the dollar movie theater. Now, let me explain to y'all something about how our dollar movie theaters used to be. The dollar movie theater was a place where by the time it comes out as a new release at the dollar movie theater, you could have gone to Blockbuster Video, Hollywood Video, the rental spot of your choosing, because probably on VHS. But, you know, some people, they like, you know, paying, you know, at that time, $2.50 in the, in the daytime for a matinee. You know, to watch a movie. Four dollars at night. I mean, you know, you just want that movie theater vibe to watch a movie. Okay? So, we decided to go to the uh, Dollar Movie Theater and watch this movie. And I can't even remember what the movie was. I think it was Blade at that time. You know what I'm saying? With Wesley Snipes, the first Blade. Or whatever. And <laughs> so, we did. And... We just, we looking at like the big posters outside and everything, and we chilling, and all of a sudden, Pietro sees them first, he like, dang, they fine. He said, bro, don't look. And like, I'm looking at the poster, so I'm looking at, like, the posters where y'all at, I'm looking at the poster, he just, you know, he just taps me, dang, they fine. He looking at the poster too. He's like, man, we got to see what's up with them. I'm like, who? I'm like, who? You know what I mean? He like, man, you know, chicks that just pulled out that, you know, got out the car. I'm like, man. So, you know, I kind of like, you know, smooth it off. Look around a little bit like I'm looking up at the sun, you know. Trying to stay smooth. Like, that's the thing about it, ladies. I, we realize, like, you know, when we scoping, you don't want to get caught, you know, looking. Unless, you know... Unless you, like, dress like how I am now, then you might <laughs> catch a chick eye on the slide. You know what I mean? But <laughs> that's later on in life. But anyway, so that's what it was. So that's cool. I look over. I see three chicks. One of them's, you know, getting out, getting something from the back seat. She hopping out. I think she's getting, like, her little, like, little purse. Like, at this time, women like to have them little purses, which I was cool with. You know what I'm saying? Versus these big, gigantic whole bags, I'm sorry, I'm gonna say it, exposing some of y'all, whole bags that y'all type toting out now, like, god dang, boy, got everything but the kitchen sink in there, you know what I'm saying, around me and Miss Jenkins, shoot, got some, got some peppermints, uh, like, you know what I mean, so, that's what's up, so I'm like, okay, you know, I'm 16, 17, I'm like, okay, cool, so I'm like, uh, you want mob over there? Look at, P, at KP, he like, you know, and KP, that's one thing I loved about him, he was like, most of the time, he really was like this. He was like, shit, I don't care. All right, cool. We mob over there. So we mob over there. It was like, you know what I'm saying? But the approach has to be right. <coughs> now, the approach has to be, and give off the law of, I'm having a conversation, but it really don't matter. That's the approach. That's the game plan. So we just start kind of like we bob over there, we in line, they in line, and you know they they get instantly quiet once we get in, once we because they're actually in front of us at the ticket booth. We in line. I'm like, I'm talking to fellas. I'm like, man, what's up, man? I was like, you know what movie we want to see? I'm like, man, like, man, I don't know, man. We gonna see? We maybe we should see such and such, such and such, blah blah blah. And I intentionally. Whatever the other movie is, I can't remember at the time, but I remember mentioning, I intentionally start a little combatants team, me and my homeboy. Because the combatants is about to play into, ask somebody, you know, it's like, call a friend. You know what I'm saying? If this was like, you know, deal or no deal, I'm about to invite somebody else into the conversation. So, like I said, they're standing in front, we standing behind them, I'm like, man, you want to see Blade? I'm like, man, I don't see Blade, man. What about this movie over here? He like, man, nah, man. <laughs> we like, come on, man. Like, that's kind of like a chick flick or whatever. I'm like, I ain't really a chick. So we, you know, go back and forth for like 2.5 seconds because you know you gotta make it quick because you don't know if something you wanna, you know, make contact. You know, what I'm saying out of just thing, but you know, we're talking loud enough to where I know they can, you know, like hear us, even if they ain't trying to hear us or oh, they can hear us. So I kind of like tap tap the girl in front of me, just so happened to be Jade, and I was like. 
I was like, hey, how you doing? Hey, excuse me. I don't mean to, like, mess y'all up or anything, but what do you think about this movie or this movie? And, you know, she, well, I mean, da-da-da-da is this, but, you know, I really like Marvel. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I, you know, Marvel Universe is my thing. And I was like, oh, okay. I like, see, she, she going for, you know. Matter of fact, that's what it was. I had Blade. He had thing. Now that I remember, because that's what we were mentioning talking about. He was talking about some other random movie or whatever. And I was like, oh, okay. I was like, hey, y'all going to go see that? She was like, no. And I was like, oh, man. I'm like, why not? She's like, you know, that's not really like a, a girly movie or whatever. I'm like, whatever. They got the little chick in there. Boo, 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 boo. So I told her, I was like, man, all right, how about we go see that movie? You know what I'm saying? I was like, so I thought getting information in, you know, KP, he comes in, he talking to the friend and everything else. So now we just all buddy, buddy, having a good time, having a good old conversation. So, you know, everything's going good. And not even gonna lie, I confess, this is when we used to. Like, one thing we did do at the Dollar Movie Theater, and that's probably why y'all went out of business. Oh, we would sneak in and out of movies, go this way, that way, this way, that way, this way, the whole time, especially during the daytime because there's no security. Like, what you gonna do? You gonna really like you check everybody's tickets? Like, half the people was getting underpaid and unpaid work anyway, so it was like, whatever. So, you know, we went in the day movie. You know what I'm saying? Watching it, whatever. You know, we supposed to go see Blade, but we watching it. But we know if things don't work out with them, shoot, we just going to sneak in the Blade at another time. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. You know, because, you know, every, like, hour and 20 minutes, how they used to run the movies, you could have did that. You know what I'm saying? You might miss the opening credits or something like that or this, but you can catch right back up on beat later. You know what I mean? So, and then, you know, you had the matinee and the movies that was coming out and all this other stuff. Boom! I remember the movie now. The Faculty. That's the movie. And in actuality, it was a pretty good movie because it's a scary movie. And it's about these kids and the alien comes down and try to take over the whole entire small town and the football town and everything else. Uh, and it's a real good movie. I ain't even gonna lie. The movie was dope. You know what I mean? And they was like, she, you know, Jay was like, you gonna protect me? I was like, I was like, I don't know you like that. Of course I'm gonna protect you know I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a young squire, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> young squire activity, you know what I mean? So and you know we was that's another beautiful part about the matinees is and I'ma be real, I'm a person that rather horror movie, whatever, I talk to the movies. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I don't know how to just sit there and be quiet and just watch the movie, especially if it's a scary movie, because I'm gonna tap you and you know we're gonna interact. And you know, like, hey, you, 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 I think she about to die. She about to, yeah, yeah, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. You know, that's just me. If you don't like that, hey, I'm sorry. Don't, don't, talk, don't invite me to the movies. How about that? You invite somebody else. Don't Netflix and chill. Don't do that with me because I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna, we gonna talk to the movies. We gonna have a good time, and you know, I like, you know, I like to tell jokes and everything else. So you know, hey, case of Ross, rock. So that goes off without a hitch. So then they like, we like, yo, so what y'all doing afterwards? Because, you know, the credits are going. She's like, I don't know. Da, da, da. I'm like, shoot, y'all want to go see Blade? She's like, hey, y'all going to pay to go see? I'm like, yeah, no, girl, we sneaking in. Which, you know, kind of, you know, dangerous. But, you know, they, but they were down with it. They was like, shit, if you peek it in, you're like, but you're going to have to buy us some popcorn and everything. I'm like, shoot, we, we ain't got to pay for the movies, of course. And back in those days, Popcorn wasn't, you know, $8,000 a, a kernel, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I could have went to the movies with, with $15, get popcorn, soda, entrance fee, everything, you know what I'm saying, for, for me, and maybe $20 for my person, you know what I'm saying, for a person I'm with, I could have, you know, rock and pop, but nowadays, shit, I ain't going popcorn, hide in the movie ticket itself, and they're like, and then he got a cinnabar, you know what I'm saying, like, how, how, the, how the food higher than... You know what I'm saying? Then the liquor. I don't I don't understand. Make it make sense. Make it make sense, please. So, okay. That goes down. Everything's good. We get in there. We watch Blade. Now it's like starting to be nighttime. So it's like, you know, afternoon-ish. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, we've been at the movie theater since like the matinee, which I think that's like at 12, 2. You know what I'm saying? Started to get afternoon time. They like, you know, we done talk to both movies, everything else. Not everybody's the best of friends. And, you know, 
we got the expedition at the time, you know what I mean? Which there's a story behind that. But just know, that's how we got to the movie theaters. We had the expedition. I used to be clean in the expedition. A girl see me and she'll be wishing that I stop and met some pimpin. Oh, that, listen. Listen, it, that used to, what? Listen, that's right around the time of a ride spinners. That's where that come from. Three Six Mafia. Ride spinners and it don't stop. That was us. So, all right, boom. We got the expedition going. And they're like, well, where y'all want to go? I'm like, hey, man. You know, let's go here. Let's go to the manager putt putt. Let's go to Frankie's. Just go to this. And it's like, nah, nah, nah. I know one place we wasn't going was the dang on Ice Palace because Rena had still worked it. And I did not want no smoke. And mess things up just in case y'all may come back in my life. Back in my life. So that was that. So we end up. Jade makes the assumption. She was like, you know, I really want to go to the beach. Now, usually when people say the beach, they're talking about like Myrtle Beach. And I'm like, Myrtle, you want to go to Myrtle Beach? And Myrtle Beach is like an hour away. Myrtle Beach is also where, like, in my state, uh, if you a biker, you already know what Myrtle Beach is. That's where we all have, well, blech, that's where we hold bikers weekend, white bikers, black bikers, you know what I'm saying? All the bike clubs come down, everything else. It's, it's, it's really nice, but it's a little pricey, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, we selling a lot of Moses and Booger Sugar at this time. So, we ain't really tripping on the bread. Oh, and not to mention, we got those dragons and dolphins. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? We got money, so it's not really that. But we just like, man, who really want to drive an hour and a half all the way to Myrtle Beach? Like, that's a long time to keep the vibe. You know what I mean? And we don't know, you know what I'm saying? And we got to get a room and we got to see if we know somebody in Myrtle Beach or you got to invite somebody along. Like, ooh, it just was too much. So, I was like, well, you just want to go to the beach. I was like, you know, and I'm telling her this, and everybody kind of agreeing. And I was like, well, shoot, let's go to, like, a, a local beach. Let's go to Folly Beach. They're like, you know, I ain't never been to Folly Beach. I'm like, shit, me neither. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, we end up driving out to Folly Beach. Now, at this time, Folly Beach had a stigma that that's where the colored people are, you know, are, and, you know, they're exclusively racist and all this other stuff. And I'm going to be honest with you, they really are not. Like, Folly Beach people are the most, even the people that lay, live there, they're the most laid-back people of all time. Probably, and what I came to find out, because they're super rich. You know what I mean? They well off. They don't got to care in the, in this world. They don't, you know what I'm saying? As long as you don't come up there trying to tear up nothing and you have some actual common sense, they really, 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 really cool. But I love the stigma because now, because everybody thinks this, and this is not how Folly Beach is, I'm in there. Now, this is my this is my spot. You know what I'm saying? I'm Beach King around here. You know what I'm saying? Big fat baby genius. You know what I mean? Young squire activity. So, we go there. We walk the beach. You know what I'm saying? And then, by the, but by the time we got there, you know, it was starting to get late. Me and her, we walking the beach. Day down, walking the beach, you know, all us, we tripping, having a good time, you know, hoping we don't step on, uh, oof. that's one thing we got bad in South Carolina, especially like in the mid summertime, is them jellyfish. If you ever step on a jellyfish, oh my God, that's the worst pain in this world. So whether dead or alive too, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? That, you know. So you got to be careful. So uh, message and moral of this story is don't you ever step on a dang old jelly shit. And if you do, seek a medical, immediate a medical attention. I'm telling you, you're going to be in pain. Oh, and don't pee on. And because some people try that urban man. Well, if you pee on it, it'll take this thing out of that sh ish don't work. Stop listening to ignorant people. Like, come on, we live in, a, in an age of modern technology. Like, not saying that a, a modern technology don't mess up, but pee? Like, I don't, I, pee freaks, man. Like, what is, what is wrong with y'all? Anyway. So, alright, so this goes down. Uh, oh, this is where we at. So, we out there, we having a great time. You know, I'm having a lovely evening. She's having a lovely evening. Things is going down. 
Okay. Sorry, I had to check the time. Things is going down. It's it's cool. So the next thing I know, I kind of want to like spend the night with her, but I'm at the the place. You know what I'm saying? They, uh, Folly Beach at this time only has, and actually to this day, only has like really one hotel. And at the time, it was uh, the Holiday Inn. It's Holiday Inn Express. You know, and it's like soon as you the main strip. Once you get off the bridge, the main strip is really the where the bridge is. Once you get off the bridge, you you it, it goes. The beach is right there in the front of you. You know, so we're on the beach, but tide is right there on the main strip. You like you, you can't miss it. It's just if you keep going straight, you're gonna be in tides. I mean, excuse me. Well, they ended up changing it to tide. That's why I'm saying tides, everybody. But uh, you're gonna run into the Holiday Inn Express. You're gonna run into the. Uh, into the uh, the building, so you know we actually when we started, uh, you know we went down, walked around, and then down the down the shore, and then we came back up and walked back that way. You know, just all us just have kicking it, having a good time, and um, we kicking it. We got back to uh, the uh, Holiday Inn. Now we're chilling on their beach chairs and everything, and we start looking at the bar, and you know we, like I told y'all, I used to look older than what I was, so I went in there and see if I could finagle me, you know what I'm saying, some drinks, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> you know what I mean, and at this time everybody was, you know, daiquiried out and everything, because you know, we got the ladies here, you know what I mean, so and that was the big thing, oh, can I get a strawberry daiquiri, you know, strawberry daiquiri, get you a strawberry daiquiri, you know, boom, works you know what i'm saying everything's going smooth and bartenders going so now we go from outside drinking on the beach in the lounge stairs and now we by the pool everything's good you know the girls you know what i'm saying they did which is kind of interesting at that time um a lot of girls used to pack in them little, in that little purse. They used to actually pack, you know, an extra tampon or pad, depending on which one. And they used to pack like, like some, like a little miniature bathing suit. You know what I'm saying? Which you know used to be a mad dream, cause like, whoa! <laughs> if I could just get you a new water, baby, <laughs> that's what I want to see. <laughs> get, and get my feel. <laughs> oh, get my feel. <laughs> I know we was managers. I don't know what y'all. So excuse me. You got, you gotta love us. Though. So, anyway, we go in there. That's going on. So, now, the fellas, we kind of huddling up. Because the girls, we like, you know, how far are we going to go? So, the girls over here, the fellas over here, we like, man, you think we can get a room? I don't know. I mean, we got the money to get a room. You know, everything. Yeah. And I was like, hey, man, we, you know what? We just going, you know, woo, 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 woo. maybe we can finesse somebody, pay a little something. Woo, woo, we can get a room. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, you know what I'm saying? And I'm in my name and everything. I was like, hey, whatever, you know what I mean? I'm like, man, you got your permit. Everybody got their license. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We gonna have the girls to stay back because you know, it look like it's, that's a whole time. Like, this is just how brrr, we got to get this plan together. And I'm like, you know what I'm saying? We're going to put the money over the dang on the ID. Because, you know, some people, they check the ID. They don't check the, you know, not 18 until, you know what I mean? And then at that time, like, South Carolina, the little not 18 until, well, it was just like a little line. It wasn't really like, if you didn't, like, really look at the ID, you wouldn't even notice it. Like, well, it's worth a shot. If not, you know, we had a great day. You know what I'm saying? We done had, our, you know, six, seven hours. You know, we done had our six, seven hours of fun, y'all. So, you know, it's whatever. Next thing you know, we go. Everything's going good. Go up to the stands. And it just so happened, like, the lady just had a whole bunch of people that just, like, canceled and everything else. And we went up there drinking drinks anyway. So it was kind of like, yo, we just trying to get a room and chill out, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I gave her the money. I think it was like $118 at the time. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Holiday Inn. Say what? Okay. And poof. We in there got a room and everything. You know what I'm saying? Smooth. Then, understand, at this Holiday Inn, because it's oceanfront, they got balconies. Now, I ain't going to lie. This is where we got over on Holiday Inn for real. 
the lady had already told us that they didn't have, she was like, we barely got anybody here tonight. So I was like, hey, can you put us on the floor? You know what I'm saying? And nobody, because, you know, we don't want to be disturbed. She was like, oh, yeah, because the whole third floor, there's nobody there. Now, she's telling us this as they are, you know what I'm saying, basically, you know what I'm saying, empty. No, she's, you know, giving us our room, whatever. Bet. Our crazy selves is thinking back about this. We were just too young, reckless, and out of control. We get in the room. We done got the girls to sneak their way in, and which it was crazy. We done got the room. We done went up there. We done got back, came back to the girls, tell everybody the plan. Like, hey, y'all come to the room from the back way. So just in case this this goes left, you know what I'm saying? We done sneak them in the hotel. I know, crazy, right? Young manish and young squires activity of just, just it's, you know, hey, whatever. So then they come up to the room. Now we in the room, but now the fellas, we like, man, we only got one room. But guess what? She done told us there's nobody here. So nine times out of ten, these other rooms, they vacant and ain't nobody in them. Let's get another room. So we went out on the balcony because all of these rooms on the ocean front, they got balconies. We go out on the balcony. Go on the balcony. There's a room right next to it. We jump the balcony. Three stories up. Go in the room. It's a it's a butterfly lock. All we need is a dang gone butter knife. Huh, pop, pop. We in there. Now we got two rooms. Pietro like, shoot, let's get another one. Let's see if it works on the room over here. I'm like, shoot, why not? <laughs> we go in there and do the same thing. And we just know, just don't lock the door. You know what I mean? I mean, you could lock the door from the inside, but don't, you know, if you go out, then don't, because then we got to do this whole thing with the balcony or whatever. So, But, you know, it's whatever. Everybody breaks off, and me and Jade... Sherman gonna have relations. Sherman gonna have relations. Oh, Sherman gonna have them relations. Oh, oh, you pig watches you nasty. I'm trying to tell you over here watching pig. You know what I'm saying? Y'all nasty. Boy, I swear to y'all women, it's something else. I ain't gonna lie. These pants, it, it, I gotta talk to this tailor like this. This suit got to go. <laughs> but anyway, whoo. But we had a good time. And what made it so special. Not just that, you know, bag to smash at the first, you know, time, but hold on one second. Oh, it's so good. But also because we um that was the first time I actually being on the East Coast, we watched the sun come up on the ocean. Stayed up to watch the sunrise on the ocean. And then she asked me this one deep question that really pierced not only my soul, my mind, and my body. She asked me, why do we exist? And that's when I got to know the real Jay Johnson. So, this is your boy, Castle All My Keys. I gotta go, because that was actually a wake-up call. You know what I'm saying? A reminder that I gotta, you know what I'm saying, get someplace to be. Hey, y'all be good to yourselves, and be good to each other. You know what I'm saying? And remember, Sherman gonna have relations. So Sherman gonna have relations. Nutty Professor, if you don't know where that come from, I feel sorry for you, because you missed out on all the good movies in the 90s. Peace! <laughs>